From ABC News, this is Good Morning America, Sunday, November 3rd, 2013. Yeah, well, it's it's cold, cold in New York today. You know what else is happening in New York today? This a lot a of tight security, day. a yeah, big, big day, day for the New York City Marathon. Less than seven months after the attack on the Boston Marathon and a year after the big race was actually canceled due to Hurricane Sandy. ABC's Lindsay Janice is at the starting line in Staten Island with a story of some very inspiring runners. Lindsay, good morning. Good morning, Dan and Bianca. It's a cold, cold morning out here, but organizers say this marathon is back better and safer than ever. Police pulling out all the stops to protect the world's biggest marathon. They've got eyes in the air, on the water, thousands of officers lining the route. Now, there are expected to be 48,000 runners and 2 million spectators here today. You can see some of the runners milling around behind me, trying to stay warm ahead of this race. It's 26.2 miles starting here in Staten Island and ending in Central Park. There are, of course, many inspiring stories, but we had a chance to meet up with one incredible family as they geared up for today. For the Schneider family, running is so much more than a sport or a way to keep fit. This is our number one main activity as a family. Everything else kind of comes second to, to running. 23-year-old identical twins Alex and Jamie are severely autistic. On the spectrum, they're at the very bottom. Both of them are nonverbal. Running has given them joy and relief from the frustrations of not being able to communicate. When the boys were eight years old, Dad Allen noticed how much they liked to chase him around. Then when the twins were 15, they found their calling. We actually found out about a club that offered volunteers to run with individuals with disabilities. They said, these guys are amazing. They've been racking up medals ever since. They've done about 130 races, from 5Ks to marathons, everything in between. Both boys have to run with the assistance of a guide. The coaches have a hard job if they have to help you navigate around other runners. If they have to so, stop to go to the bathroom, yeah. if, you know, just making sure laces are tied. But when it comes to running styles, the twins couldn't be more different. Describe what it's like to run with Ellie. He's born to run, and I have to cheat on the off days when we don't run together. I'll sneak in, you know, four or five miles just so I can uh, stay in good enough shape. For Jamie, who runs with his dad, it's all about the experience. Jamie will stop at every single water stop. He'll want to shake hands with people. Mm. <laughs> I suppose it's a nice bonding experience for the two yeah, of you. I, I try to explain to people, there's not a lot I can share with him. But when we're running, it's an unspoken language going on. It's been wonderful, really. Robin and Alan say they don't know where their family would be without running. They don't live a normal life, so right. this is something that really, I think, connects with them and mm -hmm. makes them happy. Yeah. Now, the twins are running today for the Association for Science and Autism Treatment. Alex is hoping to beat his personal best of three hours and 23 minutes, which he set in Boston. Jamie just hoping to get through this race. He hadn't finished in Boston when those bombs went off. He was traumatized by the chaos. So today, he's going to be running with his iPod. But a very inspiring pair. Dan and Bianca. And as you mentioned, Lindsay, this really is a bonding experience for the entire family. And you're reminded how many stories that are probably similar to this out there with the runners out there today. Absolutely. A lot of people running today ran in Boston, and this is a big comeback for people. Yeah. Lindsay, thank you very much for that reporting. Great story. And coming up.